me show you a JEE advanced problem that is solved almost entirely by symmetry. So we're given this closed surface that consists of a semisphere and then a conical shape just underneath it. There's a charge Q right at the center of it. We're given that the electric flux through the conical surface is NQ over six epsilon naught. And what we need to do is figure out N. Now on first inspection, this question gave me the fear because I thought I'll have to do some sort of complicated surface integral across this conical surface. But if we think about symmetry, what does the electric field around a point charge actually look like? Well, it's radial like so. Gauss's law says that the total electrical flux, uh, i.e. E dot dA, is equal to the total charge Q, in this case that's just Q, divided by epsilon naught. And this is where the symmetry comes in. The surface above is half a sphere and it's going to contain exactly half of the field lines. The other half of the field lines are going to go through this conical surface and we're directly given the electrical flux through it. This expression here is actually half of the electric flux i.e. we can say that nq over 6 epsilon naught will be equal to a half q over epsilon naught, i.e. n is equal to 6 over 2, which is just equal to 3. Gauss's law is actually one of my all-time favorite equations in physics. I have a look at my derivation of it right over here. 